Hey guys. So, I made a bedtime story machine. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, answered the second little pig. So this is a project that can read out any text you put in front of the webcam. It is really cool and super easy to make, especially if you are starting off with Python. This could be a really fun project to work on. So let's get started. So to make this work, we will have to do two things. First, we have to take a photo from your webcam using OpenCV. Second, we will convert image to text and then convert the text to speech. So over here, I'm using Python 3.6 and we will first import some modules that we will be using today. So first, we will import CV2. OpenCV is what gives your computer visions. Next, we'll import PyTesseract, which is an optical character recognition tool in Python. We are also going to import image. And lastly, we will import PyTTSX3. This is an offline text-to-speech conversion library in Python. Next, we are going to give our script a path to our Tesseract file's location. So first, find a file on your computer, and then copy and paste the string of your path to the end of this line. It could be a little bit tricky at first to install PyTesseract, so if you are having trouble to do so, I attached a link to show you how to do it step by step. The first function here I created will just take pictures. The first line here just activates our computer's default camera. We will have it return what it reads and then save it as myphoto.jpg. Finally, we'll stop the run. So now I'm going to build my speak function. The first thing I'll do is to open up the JPEG file I created earlier by using image.open. Then I will convert it to a string by using the building function in PyTesseract, which is pytesseract.image underscore to underscore string. And I'll let that be my text variable. I will then print out my text variable to give me a visual. Over here, I'm using pytsx3 to read out what I have. So now I'm going to wrap up everything inside of my main function. And if I call the main function, the script would take a photo using my webcam, convert that image file to a text file and then convert the text to speech. So over here you can definitely add in for loops or while loops to give your script any desired additional functionalities. For example, you can have your script to take a photo whenever you um, press a certain button on the keyboard or you can have it be continuously reading out any text that you put in front of your webcam. Okay, so now that we have the script finished, let's give it a try. Hello world. Hello world. Underscore underscore 19. QQ beer vapes on the wall. Take one down. Pass it around. 40 beers bottles on the way away. Way away. Way away. Extra virgin. Olive oil. -L. Just gone out. So instead of oil, it read O L L because the I here looks kind of like a L. Olive oil. -L. Olive oil. -L. But I found that it is doing a lot better with book pages. Structure of salivary glands. The salivary are compound racemose glands, consisting of numerous lobes, which are made up of smaller lobules, connected together by dense areolar tissue, vessels, and ducts. Each lobule consists of the ramifications of a single duct, branching frequently in a tree-like manner. 
So it actually read this page word for word with 100% accuracy. So I definitely notice it works better with certain fonts. And if the photo is tilted or blurry, it can't really recognize the text very well. We made this video to show you that a very simple programming project can be fun and have many practical uses. I already have a bunch of ideas for this software. What would you use this software for? Let us know in the comments below. What kind of salads do robots like? Those with ice or lettuce. Why did the robot marry his partner? He could not resist her. Why did the droid cross the road? Because it was programmed by a chicken. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Bob. Happy birthday to you. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Oh, oh, oh.